Hello, Sudoku friends, and welcome to the New York Times Heart Sudoku. Today is March 24th, 2023. Let's see what we have to deal with. Well, we can see a couple of ones blocking over and one blocking up. So this is going to be a one. What else is here? Well, we have a lot of threes, I think, a three and a three blocking over and one three blocking up and making this a three. This row two is pretty restricted. We need to find a six, a seven and a nine. The nine blocks here and this nine blocks here. So a nine must go here. And these are now a six and a seven. We have uh, these two bl threes blocking up here, and therefore this is a three. Four and six blocking up here. So these two are four and six. Isn't that true? Yes, and that makes these a two and an eight. Uh, we still need to find a one, seven, and a nine. For these squares, there's a seven and a nine here. So this is the one. And these must now be a one and a four because we have a one and a four blocking up here and we have a ghost four in one of these two squares. So one and a four here, making these a five, two and a six. There's a five and a two in the row, making this a six. Five, two here now. Seven, eight, nine for these squares. Seven and a nine blocking over, making this an eight. Yes, two and an eight here, and seven and a nine here. Can we do anything with that? Not immediately, but a nine must go in one of these squares here. So seven and a nine here, four, six here. We still need to find a two and a five. So we'll have to search for those somewhere. But while I'm thinking about that, I'm suddenly seeing these two ones blocking down and the one blocking over. So this is the one. For these four empty squares, we need to find a two, seven, eight, and a six. There's a eight and a seven and a two blocking this square, which therefore must be a six. And the seven and eight blocking here makes this a two. The eight blocking here makes this a seven. And therefore the eight goes to this square, which makes this an eight and this a two because we analyzed that already. We got a couple of twos blocking over now here. So this square becomes a two. Let's see, that was a flurry of digits. In flurry. What did it bring me? Well, three empty squares here, and one of them must be a seven. The two others must be a five and a six. They will also have to wait. What about down here? A three, four, eight, and a nine. So a three must go here or here. Eight, nine, so th this is a three or a four. We must be able to do something clever here because we have uh, quite a few digits into it already. Why doesn't he do something clever? An eight must go in one of these two squares. That much is clear. Three and five must go in one of in two of these three squares. And therefore a five must go up here. So a seven and a seven blocking across, may, and this seven blocking down puts a seven in this square, and therefore this must be a nine, and this must be a seven, and this must be a nine, like so. So one and four, two and five. We got a two in this row, so the five is forced to go here, and the two is forced to go here. What does that tell me? That tells me that we for row four still need to find a one, five, six, and a four. 
this is a one four. So we're talking about a, well, this is a one. It's a one because this one blocks here and this one blocks here and here. So this must be a one and this must be a four. Now these must be a five and a six and a four, six and a nine for these squares here. And that is going to be easy, I think. Well, I'm not sure, but we have a nine blocking over here and a nine, so this is a nine. And therefore, one of these must be a nine. And this could also be a nine. So what do we do with that? Let's start looking at these squares, a one eight and a four. We've got a couple of eights coming down here, so this must be an eight. And an eight must go in one of these squares now. The two others must be a four and a three. So the four blocking over makes this a four and therefore this is a four. These two squares must be a three and an eight. We got a three in the column. So a three goes here and an eight goes here. And that puts an eight here because we've got a couple of eights blocking these two squares. I think we are slowly getting there. Are we there yet? We got a nine blocking up and a nine blocking over. So a nine must go here. And therefore in one of these squares here. These two now must be a six and a four. And this is a six or five. Well, the six is blocking over, isn't it? So the six goes here and the five here. And that gives me nothing. <laughs> Let me look at these two squares. They have to be a seven and a five. We got a five in the row. So five here, seven here, and this is square. Therefore, it's got to be a six making this a six and this a four, because we do remember those two, don't we? This square now also must be a six. These two must be a nine and a what? And a seven. We got a seven in the column. So the nine must go here and the seven is forced into this square. And also a seven must go here. We now have all the sevens and all the eights. What are these three? They are a four, three, and a five. Yes, they are. And they will have to remain so until I find one more digit. Four and six here still. Six now blocks down here. This must be a six as well. By normal Sudoku rules across here, we need to find a five and a two. This is also a five and a two. So this is two blocking down, there's a two blocking over. So a two goes here and here and five here and here and here. This square now must be a three and therefore a three will go up here and making this a four and a four here and a one here, one here. These must be a nine, which goes here, of course, and a two. This must be a five. I find it's been a few days since we last had a very tough puzzle by the New York Times in the hard category. I'll wait with bated breath, with bated breath. to see what puzzle they are going to give us for tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye for now.